I started turning on this piece of ash juniper maybe early last year and when I realized that this crack goes all the way through to here and you might be able to see that I got discouraged and gave up I quit well I've decided <clears throat> nobody likes a quitter so I'm gonna turn this into a small vase I'm gonna keep it just shy of this coming completely apart I hope the first thing I want to do is get a tenon on the bottom and since this is long grain this way a tenon is my best choice face shield on I've got it nicely set between centers uh, it's still relatively round hasn't moved much So check this out. Okay, it's roughly six and a half inches long, two thirds of that, just over 4.3 inches. That is where I am. So, bottom's done, and the top is going to be smaller than that even. Okay, I've got it marked down there a little over two inches. That's how far we're going to go. That's roughly the diameter of the base on the top. I've got a little bit of this left, and I've got some of this left. So that's good. I need to straighten that up just a little. It is now. I don't want to lose much of that. So this shape is almost done. This thing about juniper is really brittle. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do some carving in here and smooth this out once I get this to the final shape, which it almost is. I just need to round this corner up just a little bit. There we go. I am really happy with that. This thing is going to be pretty. So I need to come in here with my Dremel and smooth these edges over. I'll get my Dremel and I'll show you a little bit of what that's going to look like, but it's going to take some. I've got this set of carbide burrs. Okay, it'll be something like that on the other one as well. I'm pretty much happy with that. So I'll come back when I got it all done. Okay, I've got these carved up and sanded. And now I will sand the outside of this. I'll show you what that's going to look like. I'm going to sand it to 600. Look how pretty that is. That is just gorgeous. I've noticed a couple of hairline cracks. There's one there, one here, one here. So I will stabilize those. I will stabilize those guys. I will stabilize those with some thin CA. 
after I get this covered with sanding sealer. So I'm going to hit this with some Mylans, my sanding sealer of choice, more often than not. Although I don't want it to change those colors and it has a tendency to amber. I've changed my mind. I'm going to use this water-based sanding sealer. I'm typically not real fond of water-based products, but when you don't want to change the natural color of things, oil-based finishes of any kind, lacquer will not because it's not really oil-based, but oil-based finishes of any kind have a tendency to amber the wood. And I've noticed that Mylans sometimes does that as well. And I don't really want that to be the case on this juniper. I want it to stay natural because I don't want any of these colors subdued in any way. The only problem with using this water-based sanding sealer is I've got to let it dry for a more significant amount of time. I don't need to waste a lot of time doing the inside of this because most of that's going to be turned away. But I do want to get a nice good coat in there. Let this dry for, uh, it says an hour. I may go two. We'll see. I'll knock it back with a scotch Bright or maybe some 600 and we'll re-round the tenon since I saturated it with super glue. We'll turn around, put it in the chuck and start hollowing. Okay, let's drill this out. It's running relatively true. Turn the speed down some, about 470. I'm not gonna drill this too deep. I'll do the bulk of the turning with my elbow tool and I'll have to use it to go even deeper, but that's okay. I just want a good starting hole and I've got that. I'm going to start with this angle for the time being. I'm testing out my new camera, this one right here. My other one died. I don't have a steady wrist yet, but... See where it's coming through over here? Okay, the thickness looks to be a, about right. further with my hollowing tool I want to smooth this up some because it's got some ridges 
and I don't want to have to try to do it later. I've got this set at a, at a negative rate. And I'll, I'll be doing this off and on throughout the turning, just to be safe. I'd really like to get this turned and smooth. Tonight, because I'm afraid this will move on me. I need to make me a hole. That's about as deep as I want to go, I think. Ooh. It is really thin so in some of this way to go stupid. So I'm gonna try to stay a little thicker, but the damage is done. carve that again, ain't I? But you can see how thin I got. Not good. Not good. have ridges, so does this vase. Well, it's better, but the more I clean, the thinner it gets. I'm not going to go any deeper other than what I can get done with the scraper. After further examination, there's, there's a couple of ridges in here that I'd really like to get out. So before I start sanding, I'm going to try that. So I've got one about right here, one about here, one here, and one here. So gingerly, I'm going to try to get those out. And of course, it cracked while I was sanding it. Oh, it cracked in another spot too. Holy mackerel. Well, I'm just going to have to live with the stain on the inside, I guess.
oh there were already hairline cracks in it I just didn't see them and the process of sanding I don't know why the turning didn't but in the process of sanding it just decided to relieve pressure see all these hairline cracks right here so basically I'm just gonna douse the inside of this with thin star bond to try to help stabilize or prevent any further cracking all right I've got the inside fairly well coated I'll have to sand it up good I'm gonna leave that run about 50 rpms while I let it harden up and then I'll come back when it's all ready to sand I've got it partially sanded up I need to do some more sanding on it but before I do that I want to fix these torn out spots and and this thing cracked on me like crazy the, the longer it sat here the more it cracked uh, I don't know if the heat from the CA did it I have applied heat to juniper before and it cracked like crazy so I'm assuming the heat from the CA caused some of the cracking so right now I'm gonna go ahead before I finish do the final sanding I'm gonna smooth these busted places <laughs> CA really came through in places. I don't like that, and there's nothing I can do about that staining, I don't think. Oh my goodness. And I don't want to cover the whole outside with CA to make the stain the same if I can help it. That's not bad. I mean, that's just really not bad. Some swirls down on the inside at the bottom, but and a little bit of staining. But they're, I mean, I, I can't. I'm not gonna be able to do any better than that. The inside's as smooth as I'm gonna be able to get it. I'm not happy about the staining from the CA where that soaked through, but there's not really anything I can do about that. You can't feel the cracks. They're sealed. You can see them, but you can't feel them. Now the question of the hour becomes how do I get that bottom off because this is I can't chuck it this way and spread it I may just have to make a jam chuck and turn it around and do the best I can well as sometimes happens I get a little excited and get ahead of myself I took this piece of very spalted very wormy Texas persimmon and I made me a jam chuck it just barely it just barely fits over the diameter. There's not much wiggle room there at all. And I made it long enough. I brought my tail stock up. I finished up the bottom, except for some sanding. And I parted this almost all the way through. You haven't seen me do this often because I haven't needed to do it often. Turn that down to about 700. Sand the bottom of this up nice. That was 320, that's about where I'm going to take it. So now it's time to finish it, but I need to burn my logo in here. Okay, got the first coat of lacquer on it. I'll put on a couple more coats tomorrow inside and out. The inside's going to soak it up pretty good. The outside has sanding sealer on it. I did not use sanding sealer on the inside. Probably should have in hindsight, but I'm using lacquer because I don't want to amber this color at all. I want it to be as natural as it can be in spite of where the CA bled through in places, but I think it's going to be really pretty. So here it is all done. Got a nice shine. Bottom's got my logo. Bottom's got my logo burn in it. And, 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 and it's just really, really pretty. At least I think it's really pretty. About an eighth of an inch thick up here and down here. And about a sixteenth right in through, right in through right here. So I got it a little thinner than I had in, 
envisioned or anticipated or planned even but i was watching the tool because you could see it as it was spinning you could see it through the cracks i thought i was keeping the same diameter or the same wall thickness but i, I messed up but it's still it held together i'm amazed i think it's nice i'm happy with it the inside could be it's not as glossy as the outside and because it's not quite as smooth there was just no way to sand it more than I did up to 150 grit which isn't bad but all things said I'm, I'm actually really happy with this I've got some ideas for some other turning so that'll be coming thanks for watching everybody I think this came out really cool I like it